What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another Gun Guide. This is the series where I go into great detail with all of the stats of every one of the weapons in COD World War II. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the Grease Gun. Starting it off, as always, let's have a look at some of the real-life stats of this weapon. Now, the actual name of the Grease Gun is technically the M3 submachine gun, but it was commonly referred to as the Grease Gun because of its unique look. It fires a 45 ACP at roughly 450 rounds per minute. It was designed in the USA and adopted by the US military in 1942, although it didn't really see regular service until later in 1944. This means that the Grease Gun wasn't actually really commonly used throughout the majority of World War II. When we get into Call of Duty World War II, our damage profile is 35, 30, 28, 23. This means it's going to be a 3 to 5 shot kill, and it's actually the only SMG in the game currently that doesn't drop off to a 6 shot kill. It's a 5 shot minimum. I should also point out the only other SMG that has a 3 shot kill potential is the MP40, but the 3 shot kill range on this is quite a bit bigger, and we'll see that in a little bit. Our rate of fire is exaggerated a little bit from the real life weapon at 545 rounds per minute, but even though it is exaggerated, it's still by far the slowest firing SMG in the game. If we pop rapid fire on there, it will bump our rate of fire up to 580 rounds per minute. As for our statistical minimum time to kill, it's 220 milliseconds within the 3 shot kill range, 330 milliseconds within the 4 shot kill range, and 440 milliseconds within the 5 shot kill range. These time to kill values are right around average for SMGs. They're not great, but they're certainly not that bad, especially when you consider the ranges of this weapon. Getting into headshots, just like with all the other SMGs, we got a headshot multiplier of 1.1, and essentially what this means is don't be worrying about headshots. I should clarify, because last episode there was a little bit of confusion here, technically within the standard 5 shot kill range of the grease gun, if you hit every single bullet in the head, it will now only take 4 shots to kill. When you consider the recoil and the idle sway and everything with this weapon, that's simply not practical at all to be expecting to hit every single one of your bullets in the head, and therefore this is why I say don't bother with headshots, they aren't going to be helping you. Moving on to our ranges, this is where the grease gun really starts to excel. As you can see here, our 3 shot kill range extends beyond 10 meters with this, which is quite good for an SMG. If you remember back to the MP40 episode, it had like a 2.5 meter 3 shot kill potential, so this is quite a bit better in that area. Also, I should note the 4 shot kill range extends all the way out to 25 meters, which is where most of the other SMGs start to drop off to the 6 shot kill range. So excellent range properties with the grease gun, and remember, like I said, this is the only one that doesn't drop off to a 6 shot kill range, so even across the map, it's only going to take 5 shots to kill. With a suppressor, all of our ranges get reduced by 30%, but I would say this is still an excellent weapon because it never drops off to that 6 shot kill, and you still have a somewhat decent 3 shot and 4 shot kill range for an SMG. Because of this, this is actually my favorite SMG to be using with a suppressor. As for advanced rifling, our 3 shot kill range is unchanged by advanced rifling, but our 4 shot kill range is increased by 25%, and 25% of an already pretty large number for an SMG is quite a good range increase for our 4 shot kill potential. As for hardcore, the grease gun has the best 1 shot kill potential in the SMG category at 20 meters. This is actually quite a good weapon to use in hardcore. Moving on to idle sway, as you can see here, there is a decent amount of idle sway with the grease gun. It's very noticeable, and it is going to affect your shot at those longer ranges. Moving on to recoil, the grease gun is very weird when it comes to recoil. It doesn't have super high recoil. It's not like some of the other SMGs where it kicks straight up to the sky or anything. It stays relatively contained, but it does bounce around really unpredictably. The thing with the grease gun is you never know if it's going to go left or if it's going to go right. You don't know if it's going to kick up strong or if it's just going to stay within a small area. And this is a very awkward gun to handle when it comes to recoil. Sometimes it feels like it's just laser accurate, and then other times it feels like it just has a mind of its own and you can't control it. Our hip threat for the grease gun is standard for the SMG category, and it's slightly better than the Waffe as well as the M1928. Our magazine capacity on the grease gun is 30 rounds, which is pretty much standard for the SMGs in this game, and we spawn in with 90 rounds in reserve. With extended mags, this bumps up to 45 rounds in your magazine with 135 rounds in reserve. Our reload add time with the grease gun is pretty much standard for the SMG category at 1.3 seconds, and this is very good. As for our aim down sight time, it's one of the slower SMGs in the game when it comes to aiming down sight. It's actually in line with most of the rifles in this game. In addition to this, the sprint out time is also quite strange with the grease gun at 275 milliseconds. 
This is slower than all of the SMGs in the game, and it's even slower than a bunch of the rifles in this game. I'm not too sure why it has a slower sprint out time than the others, but it definitely does, and that's something to consider with your playstyle with this weapon. You really don't want to be caught sprinting. Our movement speed is 100%, which is standard for SMGs, but our aim down sight movement speed is faster than all of the other SMGs in the game at 76%. With every other SMG in the game, it's technically coded at 72% movement speed when aiming down sight. And what this means is this is the best SMG for strafing side to side in a gunfight. You're going to be strafing faster than any of the other SMGs in the game. So overall, the Grease Gun is a very unique SMG in this game. It's got very good damage output, excellent range output, a pretty slow rate of fire, which means it has pretty much an average time to kill. And it's got some quirky values going on here, where it doesn't have the greatest handling stats, so your aim down sight time and your sprint out time, but once you do get aim down sight, it is the fastest strafing in the game. For attachments, I feel like quick draw is pretty much a must have on this weapon, just make sure you're not aiming as you come out of sprint, because that's not currently working, especially with the super slow sprint out time of the grease gun. But in every other situation, quick draw is pretty much a must have since you have that slower than average space aim down sight time. And in addition to that, for some reason, I just find foregrip actually seems to work on this weapon. I know I did that video a little while ago talking about foregrip, and I did some recoil tests and everything, and it was pretty inconclusive. It didn't look like grip was helping that much. I really don't think it's a placebo with the grease gun. When I'm using this in gunfights, I feel like grip absolutely helps with that really unpredictable recoil. And I've really been enjoying using grip on this weapon. It's one of the few weapons in the game that I'd recommend using grip on. In addition to that, if I'm just messing around with other stuff, possibly rapid fire, it's not a bad choice since it does have that slower fire rate. You could pop that on, but that could make your recoil a bit unpredictable. And then extended mags, normally I like using extended mags and there's nothing wrong with it, but with this slower rate of fire, it's not like you're burning through magazines instantly. And therefore, this is one of the few guns that I don't often use extended mags on. Also, like I said earlier, suppressor is an excellent choice with this weapon. This is the only SMG in the game that I feel comfortable just popping a suppressor on in the beginning of the game and just keeping it on for the rest of the game. With all the other ones, I feel like it's really situational. You don't want to get into a face-to-face -face encounter with a suppressor on. With the grease gun, I don't even worry about it. So having a look at a couple example classes to use with the grease gun, the first one here, this is kind of my go-to grease gun setup. This is the airborne division, with the grease gun obviously, with quick draw and grip, and for our basic training we have scoped. Now scoped is great because we take that already fast aim down sight movement speed and make it a little bit faster, plus it significantly reduces that idle sway, which is great on the grease gun because the grease gun is capable of taking out targets at longer ranges, but that idle sway can often get in the way, so I really like using scoped with this particular SMG. And of course, like I said, on this one, since we are running it with airborne, I will often pop a suppressor on right at the beginning of the game, and I'll use it throughout the entire match. For secondary, we've got machine pistol with extended mags, and lethal, a sticky grenade. Just to mix it up a little bit from some of the previous SMG episodes for gun guides, I decided to go with a mountain class here. With this one, once again, we've got quick draw and grip, and I also popped a reflex sight on this. I didn't really mention it throughout the video, I'm not the biggest fan of the iron sights with the grease gun. They're usable, but sometimes I like to have an optic on there, so I popped an optic on this particular setup. We've got primed as our basic training skill, which allows us to get that third attachment, as well as reduces our flinch. And then once again, secondary machine pistol with extended mags, and lethal is a sticky grenade. This one allows you to flank a little bit more effectively, stay off the enemy's radar anytime they call a recon plane in, and it's quite an enjoyable setup. So, there we have it. That's going to wrap it up for today's gun guide. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of the grease gun? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know your thoughts and why. In addition to this, let me know in the comment section below which one of the weapons in the game you'd like me to cover next. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.